Wow. 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 What a way to end week 11. Here comes my week 11 thoughts for the NFL. The Rams beat the Buccaneers upset of the week. I'm gonna. I'm just going to go straight up. The games of the week, there were many, but I'm going to rank them. Chiefs versus Raiders, then Col- uh, then Packers versus Colts, then uh, Titans versus Ravens, then Rams versus Buccaneers. Uh, player of the week, Phil Rivers. Shout out to Phil Rivers. I've been hard on that dude, but he won. And to me, I'll play Aaron Rodgers. Uh, uh, the most impressive team to me was the Rams. I I was shocked. I I thought I thought the Rams offense was gonna play bad. I'm gonna be honest. Like <laughs> I really thought they was like I, after I seen what they did against uh, the Dolphins and the 49ers, I'm like, oh boy, here we go again. But no, they they showed up, and for the most part, into the fourth quarter, they showed out. Uh, but let me let me quickly get to this before I get to the rest. Coach McVay, the one thing that's hindering this team, especially offensively, because the defense has been stellar. This has been the best Rams defense in the McVay era. Shout out to Coach Staley. Uh, this is what's been hindering the, the Rams offense. Coach McVay, you've got to go vertical. you got to be aggressive with the play con. Y'all have been up 24-17 for the longest. If y'all had went vertical, y'all would have won this game by two touchdowns and wouldn't have gotten to this point where you know you have to, you won by a field goal and that that last play um what was it y'all was like on third and eight and y'all chose to run the ball you chose to run the ball instead of throwing golf had been hot the whole entire game on third down look golf threw uh one he threw two picks but one was really stupid the first one on the um on the uh uh, the on the uh, halfback screen that was stupid, but the second one I don't put that on golf. That's a I put that on McVay because that was a bad play call. Like that play wasn't going nowhere. Like everybody was basically covered on that play, and I didn't like the formation, so I'll just leave it as that. But Coach McVay, go vertical. You got all the wide receivers you need. Look, y'all won with our running game. You got the quarterback. Go vertical, and everything else will take care of itself along with this dominating defense that uh, the Rams have. Uh, Buccaneers, wow. This is the third time we've seen them fall flat, and Tom Brady not look like the GOAT. Y'all can attribute it to age. Y'all can also attribute it to uh, Coach Arians. Maybe uh, Antonio Brown is bad luck, but they're about to go against the Chiefs next week. And I'll let y'all figure out who I think is going to win that game. So I'll just leave it right there. Oh, uh, who else? Let's talk about who else. Oh, okay. Titans versus uh, 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 the Ravens. I thought the Ravens going to win this game. I knew it was basically a, a, a flip coin toss. But King Henry, the best running back in the NFL, holding down his crown. What separates him from every other running back is not only does he dominate in the second half, he literally wins the game for his team. So shout out to them. The Ravens are pretenders. I At this point, I, I, I don't see how they're going to make the playoffs, to be honest with you. They're about to get their boots smoked by the Steelers uh, for Thanksgiving. Like they about to turn to Turkey for real. Uh, the Browns, they barely won, but a win is a win. Shout out to Coach Stefanski. He is coaching that team, and they, they're going to make the playoffs. Uh, I do not put the blame on Carson Wentz like the rest of y'all are doing with the Eagles. The GM has screwed the uh, Eagles over, and he needs to get fired for taking uh, for not taking Justin Jefferson and, and, and um, oh, God, that's another, uh, C.D. Lamb, guys like that. There's another guy, but I can't remember right now. Oh, uh, my boy Michael Pittman Jr. They could have took any of these guys and they didn't. So, uh-uh. I'm putting the blame on the GM. Y'all can say what y'all want. But the GM of the Eagles needs to get fired. Uh, Packers, I, I picked the Colts because I knew the Packers were going to screw up somehow, some way. They, they, got, they got lucky with the Jaguars. So, I figured this would be the week they would lose. Uh, the Packers, they're a finesse team just like how Kyle Hurd was saying. They're not built to to make it to the Super Bowl. They'll, they, you know, they'll win a game in the playoffs, I think, but that's about it. They just not built like that. Uh, but like I said, the Colts, 
they got everything pretty much. Uh, but uh, yeah, Phil Rivers, there's times he plays like this, and there's other times where he straight up plays like an old fart. And I think in the playoffs, he'll play like an old fart. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, amazing game between the Chiefs and the Raiders. No shame in the Raiders losing. They already beat the Chiefs. They are a playoff team. Uh, Derek Carr, Raider fans, y'all need to appreciate him. Coach Gruden, you need to appreciate him. He's a good quarterback, man. I don't care what none of y'all say. Patrick Mahomes, once again, show at the end of the game that not only is he the best quarterback in the league, that uh, uh, Travis Kelsey is the best tight end in the league. Clearly, they set up the bar. But Waller from the Raiders, you dope as hell. Definitely a top, top five uh, tight end. Um. Man, I should I should have stuck with my pick with the damn Panthers, but I didn't. I I cho I, I switched my pick to the Lions because uh, Teddy Bridgewater was out, but PJ Walker went crazy on um, uh, well not crazy, but you know he did his thing on the on the Lions. Um, I have to give credit where it's due to Taysom Hill. I'm not a fan of Taysom Hill, but he did exactly what he needed to do to help the Saints win. Uh, Falcons are pure trash. But the Saints, they did what they were supposed to do, and they dominated. Uh, so I have to give them credit where credit is due. Um, Steelers took care of business. Um, the Seahawks took care of business against the Cardinals, and they're about to molly uh the Eagles uh, next Monday. Yeah, next Monday. Um, those are basically all, all really the important games. Um yeah, Washington won. Oh, Joe Burrow, uh, please have a healthy and safe, speedy recovery. He tore his ACL, his MCL. Terrible, man. Um, have a safe, speedy recovery, man. Um, oh, Tua, he got benched. I can't believe they lost to the to the uh, Broncos. I really can't believe that. But Tua, he, he's going to learn his lesson. He said things wasn't that hard in the NFL being a rookie. Well, he learned his lesson because he played terrible and he got benched. He's going to start next week. I think they're going against the Jets. I could be wrong. But if they go, are, are going against the Jets, they'll beat them. So, um, yeah. Oh, and Justin Herbert, rookie of the year uh, for offense. Amazing quarterback. He'll be a superstar by next year. Um, if But they got to get the right coach. Um, I will like for Anthony Lynn to stay the coach, but you can't be losing games how they lost this year. So I don't know, but they're going to have to figure that situation out because they basically a year away from becoming the team that they're supposed to be. But they got to make sure they either have the right coach or find the right coach. Um, yeah, I'm going to just cut it there. But uh, give me your thoughts. Um, who who? Okay, what was your game of the week? If I had to choose one, it would be uh, Chiefs versus Raiders. So what was your game of the week, uh, player of the week, upset of the week, and most impressive team of the week? Give me your comments and your thoughts down below.